my next Illumicrate box finally arrived. I honestly not completely sure if this is May or June Illumicrate because the May box was extremely delayed due to them changing the book. I'm pretty sure this is June and the May one's gonna come in like July, but let's go ahead and open it. This is only my second Illumicrate box, so I got the full box again, and I'll probably get another three months of this full box just because I think I'm already at when I would need to decide if I'm going to keep getting the full box with everything in it or switch to like just the book. And I've only gotten one box so far, so I don't know yet if I want everything or not. But I honestly feel like after six boxes of getting all the goodies, I will probably have enough goodies that I can just go back to the normal regular book. But we'll see. Maybe I'll change my mind after seeing everything that's included in here. But okay. this is indeed the June box. It is the I Will Fly June 2024 box. And there's some details on what is included in the box and details on the book. I'm just going to start with what's on top, which I'm pretty sure is the goodies. Okay, so first we have so first we have these mechanical pencils. These are inspired by the Empress of Salt and Fortune. Not really sure what that is, but I honestly really like these. I feel like if they just keep giving like useful things like this, I will maybe keep getting the full box because like these don't take up a lot of space and they're pretty and I mean, I like mechanical pencils. I don't know what size lead these take. It doesn't seem to say. Next we have this enamel pin, which is inspired by The Water Outlaws by S.L. Huang. Again, another book that I'm not familiar with, but it is a pretty cute pin. I'm not really a big pin person, so I don't know what I will do with this, but I'll find a purpose for it maybe. Next, we have this metal bookmark, which is inspired by The Bone Charred Daughter by Andrea Stewart. Again, haven't read that book. I feel like I'm just missing out on all of the Illumicrate books. I think I need to be a long-term Illumicrate subscriber to know what these books are, but it is a cute bookmark, which I think I will enjoy regardless of not knowing this book that it's inspired by. It's very pretty. It's my first metal bookmark, so that's pretty exciting. Honestly, could also use this like paper little bookmark cover that it came in. And then we have this Forgotten Dreams print album, which I guess you can put in, you know, prints you get for books and author letters, and honestly, maybe just use it as a photo album. I do not have a lot of prints and just loose papers of author letters. I mean, maybe I'll get some or maybe I'll choose or maybe I'll turn this into a photo album. We'll see. It's a little bulkier, so if I don't find a purpose for it, it is a little more unfortunate because it does take up some space. And finally, we have the highlight of the box, what we are all here for, the book. It's Of Jade and Dragons by Amber Chen. To seek revenge, she needs to stay alive. 18-year-old Ahu Ying dreams of becoming a world-class engineer like her father. But after a sudden murder, her life falls apart, left with only a journal of her father's engineering secrets and a jade pendant snatched from the assassin. A heartbroken Ying follows the trail to the capital and the prestigious Engineers Guild, a place that harbors her father's hidden past. Determined to discover why anyone would threaten a man who ultimately chose a quiet life over fame and fortune. Disguised as her brother, Ying manages to infiltrate the guild's male-only apprenticeship trial with the help of an unlikely ally, Ao Gia Yi Young. I think I mispronounced that. <laughs> 
the taciturn eighth prince of the high command. With her father's renown placing a target firmly on her back, Ying must stay one step ahead of her fellow competitors, the jealous skilled masters, and the killer still hunting for her father's journal. Complicating everything is her increasingly tangled relationship with the prince, who may have mysterious plans of his own. The secrets concealed within the guild can be as deadly as the weapons they build, and with her life and the future of her homeland at stake, Ying doesn't know who to trust. Can she avenge her father even if it means going against everything he stood for, or will she be next in the mastermind's line of fire? I almost missed the author's note. It is bound in there. I think I like having the author's note in the book. I don't have a strong opinion right now, but I mean, it's easier to keep it with the book if it's actually bound in there. So a little bit murder mystery, but it also very much gives like Mulan vibes, disguising as her brother. I mean, I'm definitely not the only one who thinks that. I feel like it's been a while since I've like read any books or watched any movies about a woman disguising herself as a man. So I'm kind of excited to read that. Excited for another romanticy. I love a romanticy. I'm excited what the fantasy aspect of this is because I mean it seems like dragon heavy but the synopsis didn't give any hints to where that comes into play or how much it comes into play. I like the book overall. I'm very happy with the artwork. I'm, I feel like, always happy with Illumicrate's artwork. I love the book sleeve. I think that is beautiful and goes really well with the sprayed edges. But I also feel like without the book sleeve, like, the hardcover itself also looks so good together. I just, I can't decide which I prefer. I don't know how you guys feel, but I'd, I'm not a big fan of large print in my books. I kind of prefer like the smaller print because I feel like my eyes don't have to move as far across the page. Or they don't have to do as much movement to read the book, but <laughs> that's my personal preference. I know a lot of people really like larger print books, so. Recap, what do we think? I mean, I always love having special edition books. I think they're so pretty. Eventually, I'm probably going to run out of space. Well, I'm already out of space on my shelves, but I'm sure eventually I would have too many books. I don't know if I need an excessive amount of special editions. We'll see how I feel as they keep coming. So I think my favorite items that were included in this box were the mechanical pencils and the bookmark. I think I will definitely use this bookmark. I'll see how I like it like practically using it with a book. Yeah, I really like these items. I'm not sure what I'll do with the pendant or the little photo album thing, but I'm sure at some point I will get into like photo albums. I don't think I'll ever have enough book content to put in these unless I just put in like all the stickers I get. I guess I could do that. It could be like a sticker book. I feel like using this for stickers or for like just as a photo album is all I can think of doing, but I think I like the smaller items and I like the jigsaw puzzle from last time. Trying not to add too much clutter to my house. Now, as I said, I think I'll like having a few more boxes with all the goodies in them because the goodies are fun, but I think after a few more boxes, I will not need all these goodies, unless they're mugs. I really like mugs. I would be very happy getting a mug in every box, but <laughs> that's just me. So we'll see how the next four boxes I get go, but I'll probably switch to going just to the book eventually, like sooner rather than later. That's it. That's all that's included in the June 2024 Illumicrate box, the I Will Fly box. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Let me know down below what you guys think of this box. Are you excited for this book? Did you like the goodies? Which goodie was your favorite? <laughs> Let me know down below. I will see you guys later. Bye!